Hi, my name is Chris Atkinson. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Cisco Systems, and I'm part of the Compute Systems product group focused on Cisco's unified computing system. This video is part of a series that is intended to show the unique advantages that are possible with Cisco's unified computing system, or UCS for short. In this video, I'll be showing how to simplify configuration of UCS with Cisco UCS Power Tool for UCS. UCS Power Tool is a freely downloadable PowerShell module that allows us to interact with UCS's XML API. Power Tool does all the XML heavy lifting for us so we don't have to have developer skills to drive UCS from a command line environment. Power Tool for UCS provides operator friendly command line access to UCS. It allows us to connect to multiple UCS domains for parallel configuration. This means we can connect to many UCS domains and run scripts simultaneously to those domains, thus eliminating the need to connect individually to each domain, run the script, and then move on to the next. Power Tool for UCS also simplifies learning by allowing us to create Power Tool commands by simply driving the GUI. We achieve this through the use of the Convert to UCS commandlet, which will be shown in the demonstration. Power Tool for UCS also accelerates scripting by utilizing the familiar PowerShell framework. This allows us to reuse PowerShell for things like loops and if-then blocks. Power Tool can also work against the UCS platform emulator for hardware-free script development. And lastly, again, it's free. It's available for download at cisco.com. Now let's launch our UCS Power Tool. We'll connect to our first domain using the connect to UCS command. In this demonstration, we have two UCS domains, one with an IP address of .12 and the other with an IP address of .22. You can see we first connected to our .12 domain, and now let's do a start UCS GUI session dash log all XML to actually launch our UCS manager UI as we'll be using it to actually build the Power Tool configuration commands. Next, we'll run the convert to UCS commandlet. What this command is, is doing is essentially reading the UCS Java logs from the UCSM client. Each command that we attempt in the UCS manager is captured in your UCS Java logs. The convert to UCS commandlet command is reading those Java logs for changes, and in real time, it finds any command and converts it to UCS Power Tool. As you can see here, we're creating a block of UUID suffixes. Once we complete this command, we'll see on the left hand side that Power Tool has now taken those commands and converted them to proper UCS Power Tool commands. Now that we've successfully run the convert to UCS commandlet, let's run the command again, except this time we'll output the information to a text file. We'll call this text file powertoolexample.ps1. Now that we have our convert to UCS commandlet running again, we'll start configuring our UCS domain. First, we'll create an organization. Remember, convert to UCS commandlet is going to be capturing all of these commands that we're throwing at the UCSM. We'll create a few VLANs called production or prod. Now I'll create a VNIC template using one of the production VLANs that we just created. Next, we'll create some vSANs to use for some VHBA templates that we'll create. It should be noted that this video demonstration is by no means a best practices guide to configuring your UCS domain, but instead an example of what you could do with PowerTool to automate the configuration of your domain. Now we'll create a VHBA template 
utilizing the vSANS that we just created. Lastly, we'll create a service profile using some of these objects that we've created. We'll add our Ethernet adapter using the VNIC template that we just created, as well as the two VHBAs that we created prior. Now that we've completed con configuring a UCS service profile, let's go take a look and see what our UCS Power Tool command file looks like. Now that everything's been captured, let's disconnect from this UCS domain and connect to our other UCS domain. Note that this domain is IP addressed with dot 12 and the domain that we'll be connecting to will be IP addressed with dot 22. Be sure to also disconnect from the existing domain in PowerTool with the disconnect UCS command. Now that we're connecting to the dot 22 domain, let's restart our UCSM session but with the new domain. We can do this by yet again running the start UCS GUI session, also utilizing the dash log all XML. For this configuration, the dash log all XML is not required as we will not be running the convert to UCS commandlet. Now that we've successfully logged in to our second domain, we can briefly see that no VNIC templates exist and no VLANs exist on this UCS domain. We'll now go back to PowerTool and simply run the PowerShell file that we created before. We'll now see the commands executing in the PowerTool window. Since we essentially have two clients running here, one based in PowerTool and one, the UCSM GUI, the UCS GUI may take a few seconds to realize the changes. Notice now that we can see the changes that we've made. All the VLANs that we created prior in Domain 1 now exist in Domain 2. The VNIC templates that we created in Domain 1 now exist in Domain 2, as well as the VHBAs. The Convert to UCS commandlet can also be used to convert an entire configuration backup of a UCS domain, whether that backup was taken with the UCSM or PowerTool. The Configuration Backup PowerTool script could then be edited via Notepad or another text editor, allowing you to pick and choose what parts of the configuration you would like to restore. To find examples of this and others, please visit us at communities.cisco.com slash UCS. You'll find a wealth of scripts written by both customers and Cisco. In summary, PowerTool provides an operator-friendly command line access to the unified computing system. As we've learned in this video, we can even generate PowerTool by simply driving the GUI, thus simplifying and accelerating the configuration of your UCS domains with the assurance of the exactness scripting provides. And yet again, it's free to download at cisco.com. For more information on UCS, please visit us at www.cisco.com slash go slash UCS. And thank you for watching this installment of the UCS Advantage series.